guys. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. So, <laughs> I stopped by the dollar store and get this, got this crazy Christmas whatever. Isn't this cute? It's got this mask for a dollar and this reindeer hunt for a dollar. <laughs> so, we're gonna have fun tonight. <laughs> Oh my god, Christmas came early. Christmas came early today, and I got some balloons. We're just gonna have fun. Christmas came early. I'm doing it for, just for my rabbit, because he's over there watching. <laughs> But for now, he just wants to call attention. Ooh, yummy, yummy. Teachers, it is. Isn't this good? Oh my god, this is so pretty. Oh my god. You guys like this? Something to do with your kid. Imagine if you're a restaurant and you were required to feed people for two years without getting the money. <laughs> this is so cute. Meet with them and their tenants to try to figure out the best solution. And in Texas, churches in the San Antonio area are working to make sure their members Jesus. feel safe during holiday services as COVID-19 cases. I bought this one. My brother likes to watch me blow this. So the other one has. She ran away and went under the bed because I brought her. Um, brought her some um, tiny little horns. And I put it on her and the other rabbit here. She got tired of me blowing the balloon, so she ran away. But the, the middle one is over here eating grapes. <laughs> and he's still watching. Somehow they're so fascinated by the, the balloons, the, the bubbles. They call it bubbles. Look at what they gave me a whole big. Um, can of bubbles at the dollar store for a dollar. Christmas came early. Christmas came early, Chichi. You love those bubbles, don't you? He's like, what the hell is that? What are you blowing? Can you do that? Entrust your heart to entrust them. It's the number one heart failure brand prescribed by cardiologists. And Tristo was proven superior in helping people stay alive and out of the hospital. Heart failure can change the structure of your heart, so it may not work as well. And Tristo helps improve your heart's ability to pump blood to the body. And with a healthy heart, come here. there's no telling where life may take you. Don't take Tristo if pregnant. It can cause harm or death to an unborn baby. With an ACE inhibitor or alaskirin, or give that angioedema with an ACE for arm. The most serious side effects are angioedema, low blood pressure, kidney problems, or high blood potassium. Ask your doctor about Entresto for heart failure. And trust your heart to Merry Entresto. Christmas, guys! Christmas came early today. A live look at Reagan National Airport just outside Washington, D.C. tonight. Five days to Christmas, and the travel rush is on. This as Americans face a COVID surge. New numbers into the live desk showing the TSA screened more than 2 million passengers Sunday for the third day in a row now. Public health experts saying despite new COVID restrictions in many areas, most families are not canceling holiday travel plans. The National Institutes of Health says it's okay to travel as long as you follow precautions. Hours ago, the CDC updating its travel warning list to include the countries you see here in the very high level four category. That includes Spain, which is one of the most popular tourist destinations for Americans. Right now, nearly 90 countries 
on that level four list right now. A live look here at Port Miami. We, uh, Royal Caribbean saying 48 people aboard were simply in the sea, tested positive for COVID-19. Each went into quarantine. Six disembarked before that final stop in Miami. The cruise line saying 95% of the more than 6,000 passengers and crew members were fully vaccinated. Meantime, health officials nationwide pushing people to get their vaccines to prevent a post-holiday surge. But is there enough time to get the booster shot if you haven't already? The national nurse, Bree Buckley, asked a doctor that question in Columbus, Ohio. Bree joining us live tonight. Happy Vlogmas, guys. The vaccine is aimed at preventing severe disease and death while preventing you from getting COVID-19 altogether. Uh, for that booster dose, they say there's still enough time to get that extra protection before Christmas. <laughs> booster doses have been approved for all adults in the U.S. for about a month now. But as we see more breakthrough cases of vaccinated and sometimes boosted people getting COVID, are we also seeing more hesitancy towards that additional dose? The booster kicks in immediately. Um, it's not like the first dose and the second dose where it takes about two weeks to get fully vaccinated. The booster starts kicking in immediately. Columbus Public Health Commissioner Dr. Mashika Roberts says CPH has administered about 120,000 first doses of the vaccine to people 12 and older. But so far, they've only given out about 9,000 booster doses. She says it's still not too late to get protection before Christmas weekend. I think there's a lot of hesitancy in the community because I think a lot of people are frustrated and confused. You know, I got vaccinated. I thought that was supposed to work. Why does this Christmas feel like the same we did last Christmas and we didn't even have the vaccine? Omicron is now the most dominant variant of the U.S., making up about 73% of new infections last week, according to federal health officials. And the new variant symptoms are making it even tougher to tell if you're sick with COVID or just the common cold. We do know that the Omicron is presenting itself um, usually with milder symptoms than the previous variants. Um, and it can easily be confused with a common cold, with a sinus infection, um, with the flu. Our morning Columbus public health officials as well as nurses here on the front lines will hold a briefing to talk America's news now. The child tax credit program giving millions of dollars uh, in extra money to parents every month is set to expire next month. Uh, the Build Back Better Act could extend the program bill, but it's facing some opposition from Senator Jim Manchin. The White House says it lifts millions of children out of poverty while Manchin says it'll drive up inflation. So who's right? The fact check team digging into both of those claims tonight. Megan, at one point, Senator Joe Manchin supported the child tax credit. And the fact check team tonight looking into what exactly has changed and why now he says it would just cause too much inflation for taxpayers at home. John and Janae from the fact check team joining me now. And guys, what exactly did Senator Manchin say he was willing to work with here? So his big sticking points for the child tax credit have been targeted spending, more oversight and making sure that the people who actually need the money are getting it, and no additional handouts. Now, this is not new. He included this in his signed agreement with Majority Leader Schumer back in July. The child tax credit was passed as a part of pandemic relief le legislation earlier this year. Now, it has sent up to $300 per child directly to families each month. AP reports that at one point, <laughs> Senator Manchin wanted the program extended for a full 10-year window rather than just one year. However, this was a non-starter since the CBO estimates oh my the child tax credit could cost so $1.6 trillion if it were extended <laughs> for 10 years. Now, this would put out other key components like health care, child care, education, and more. The price tag now is too much for the West Virginia Democrat. His latest offer on the Build Back Better Act excluded the child tax uh -huh. credit. When we look at that extended CIO estimate, it's really a turning point in the negotiation oh my goodness. that speaks directly you guys to what like the are nervous about when it comes to drivers of inflation. It's got it down a few days ago. And I'm loving it. According to people Ooh. close to the senator, Manchin told Congress that, that he was willing to use the money for Girl. drugs instead of for their children. But his office hasn't this. actually commented on this. Nice, the loving, crochet brain. The press secretary, Jen Psaki, saying... Senator Manchin should explain himself to children lifted out of poverty. The White House continues to reiterate the tax credit has significantly reduced child poverty in America. According to the Brookings
Cheers, and you and uh, start to love us. Oh, that's so nice. 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 Oh, that's so